All right, get ready because daylight saving time returns this weekend. And with it comes the debate over whether the practice of changing our clocks twice a year should end. After moving our clocks back an hour in the fall, daylight saving time returns this weekend. Come Sunday, we'll spring forward losing one hour of sleep. The twice a year time change is again the focus of debate. I just don't think it's necessary. Why should we do this to ourselves? We don't have to do this. Minnesota I mean, Senator Mary like Kiffmeyer, among a growing number of lawmakers across the country, calling for an end to the practice. The U.S. first implemented daylight saving during World War I as a way to conserve fuel. Senator Kiffmeyer believes that the practice can be harmful. Strokes go up, heart attacks go up, car crashes, uh, mental health issues. Hold right if they Last year, she introduced a bill in the state Senate to make daylight saving time year round. What I heard from people all over, they would rather have more light in the evening for the ball games with the kids, walking after work. Friday, the Mayo Clinic discussing the impact that daylight saving time can have on her health. I think one of the issues that makes adjusting to daylight savings time so challenging is that most of us are already at least somewhat sleep deprived. So far, 15 states have passed legislation similar to what Minnesota Senator Kiffmeyer introduced here last year, but ultimately it's up to Congress to change federal law. I mean, there are some things in life that we can't do anything about. This is one that we can. It's a choice that we have. Several U.S. Senators from both parties introduced the Sunshine Protection Act of 2021 this week so we don't have to fall back in November and permanently keep using daylight saving time. Mayo Clinic neurology expert Melissa Lipford encourages adults and kids to try and get to bed earlier tonight. She says even 15 to 20 minutes earlier will help with this transition. All right.